Hi, I'm Charlie Nix with Hot Rod Cameras, and today we're talking about refraction and dispersion. Let's start with what refraction is. Imagine this shopping cart is a ray of light, and this grassy lawn is a lens element or piece of glass. If the shopping cart moves over the grass dead on, nothing happens to its direction. The shopping cart slows down when it hits the grass and speeds up when it gets back on the pavement. But what happens if that shopping cart heads at the grass from an angle? Well, for starters, only one of its wheels hits the grass first, and since one is on the grass and one is on the pavement, that shopping cart will turn in the direction of the grass. Then, we get to the other side. Only one of the wheels will hit the pavement first, and so it will once again turn towards the grass. That's how refraction works. Off-axis rays hitting the glass at an angle will refract towards the area with more resistance. Since glass is denser than air, the light will turn towards the glass. Then, when it exits the glass, the light ray will once again turn or bend back towards the glass, just like the shopping cart did on the grass. Now let's talk about dispersion. This one's a little more complicated. Imagine every color going through our lens was its own shopping cart. Depending on the color of the cart, the resistance of the wheels is different. One moves very smoothly, one less smoothly, and one requires a ton of effort to move it forward. Each of these wheels will react to the grass differently. One would make less of a turn when it hit the grass, and one would make more of a turn. When glass has a higher dispersion or ab number, the difference in the refraction of the various colors is greater, causing chromatic aberration. When it has a lower ab number, the different colors react more similarly to each other. Lens manufacturers want high refraction to bend and twist the light, but high refraction often comes with high dispersion, which they don't want. So the goal is to get high refraction, low dispersion glass. How do you do that? Well, we'll talk about it in my next video, but here's a sneak peek. It involves poison.